I have a Ruth here. I can resist actually opening the actual box, but I didn't actually open the product that's inside. So, this is what it is. It is the awesome thing that was released today. Today is the 11th, so I will actually post this today because I can't, I can't both wait. So, it's actually pretty nice. It has this label bit because I can actually reuse the blank part of this label, which is handy. But obviously, the front part of the label was used for my dress on the box, but uh, yes. Uh, Put this in here so don't lose it. Okay. So this was the box, which I can put in the recycling thing. In the recycling box it goes. I I missed, but it's it's in the general direction. So the awesomeness that I got. I pre-ordered this because I couldn't I couldn't get, you know. But this is I can wait. This is so awesome. And just awesome. Audio is Japanese and English. The text English, Italian, French, German. I don't know what the other two slides are. So I just I wanted to show you now. But da -da. Isn't it awesome? The well, this is my favorite. Tales of Vesperia Definitive Edition. Premium Edition. So like, I can't wait. I am so going to start playing this. Though I might play it after dinner so I'm not interrupted. I mean, it is 3.29 in the afternoon. So if I wait till after dinner, and since I normally stay up most of the night anyway, I, I got time then. So this is awesome. See, so, let's see. On the back, the fan favorite Tales of episode is back. Uh, let's see that. Says it in other languages? Mm -hmm. Premium edition includes a 48 page art book, 4 times CD soundtrack, pin badge set, which I can put on my pin board. Mm -hmm. um, Chibi Chara sticker set. So just a mini character, to be version character sticker set. Um, <clears throat> collectible card set, which I can you know, obviously put with my trading cards. A repeat metal case and the game. Repeat if you don't know is the dog. The dog, which is pretty cool. I mean, why he holds a, a pipe? I don't know. But anyway, let me just take a few pictures and then I'll get back to opening this. Alright, here yeah, I took some pictures and I took some pictures with my phone. So let's get into it. <laughs> this is exciting. I don't normally buy premium edition versions of games, but this is my favorite of the Tales of series. It's the first Tales of series actually that I play. The second one was on the 3DS, which was the Tales of the Abyss, I think. Mm. Well, I actually never really completed that yet either. I got sidetracked with other things. But ooh, this is a sleeve. That looks ooh, well. Cool. Awesome. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just freaking out. Um, okay, let me just... <laughs> I, I, can't, I can't resist to... I mean, it's, it's just so cool. Like... Okay, some of you might actually not be interested, but still, I love it. I mean, technically, Yuri is my favorite character. Because he's so cool. Um, I can't remember what it is. I mean, it, it's back here somewhere. Should I? Should I? I mean, should I get that one? Oh, here it is. See? He's so cool. He's so cool that I got myself a little Yuri blanket. Or, see? Well, I mean, I'm a little cool. 
Anyway, just besides the point, I guess. But, uh, but the blanket is so soft, too. But uh, that's, that was in a different uh, pre order video. Okay, we got some totally sidetracked. Anyway, uh, sorry. I'm getting my hair out of the way. Right. So this is awesome. Awesome, awesome. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so. Put that there. How I can do this before my camera battery runs out. But, um, okay, let's. <laughs> yeah. How it's packaged on the inside. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Here is the game. I might as well open it now, anyway. I'm playing it a bit later. Okay. Those things flying everywhere if I just put them all in one thing. Okay. Hmm. Things are rolling. Okay. Here we have. Okay, good thing I didn't show you that. I mean, that's the, uh... <clears throat> Epic Rewards Club. Get a thousand points. Um... Well, if you want to know... They also are selling on their, uh, Bandai... Store. Dot Bandai. Namco. ENT. Dot EU, anyway. I don't know if it's on the other one. That is the uh, Rapide figure, which does look pretty cool, but since he's not my favorite character, and that is pretty expensive, I uh, might not. Well, if you want to use this, yeah, so use the code WELCOME10 and get 10% off your first purchase. So use that code, WELCOME10, if you want to do that. Um, so obviously the rewards club is every time you get points for your game, enjoy free DLCs, uh, swap your points for gifts, or experience exclusive benefits during our events. Web manual of this title is now available for PC, mobile, PlayStation, now. That's the pure code for that. But yes, if you are interested in that figure, that is that. And here we have the disc art with Yuri Lowell and Flynn, I forgot what his last name is, but yes. Those two were on the uh, Tales of Vesperia movie uh, art, uh, cover art as well. But anyway. So, they actually this time put the health warning on the inside <laughs> of the cover instead of in the booklet. So, you just put this book the back in there. So, that was the game. So, next we have is this. Oh, that is so cool. A little pouch here with repeat on the front. So, here we have. Ooh, the cards and the pins. These are pretty small, actually. So that's pretty cool. We have Brave Vesperia, Hunting Blades, The Phaeton's Claw, and Guild Union. We got a metal clasps on the back. Not as like non-movable as the rubble, rubber ones, because the rubber ones take ages to get off. And we have these cards. It looks so awesome. Let's open this up. Okay, here we have Yuri Level. And it's hollow. Well, it is exclusive cards, but still. Here's the Yuri Level. Here's a, like a flavor text thing. 
I've already made my choice, or have you forgotten? And at age 21, height 180 centimeters, male, class, former knight, voice actor, uh, Kosuke Tor Toriyumi. It's kind of hard to read that uh, font there. But yes. Alright, you're it's my favorite. Um, let's see, what does it say? Having seen the horrors perpetrated by the ruling class, Yuri has come to despise the aristocrats and their ilk. In response, he puts his skills as a former knight to good use in the lower quarter, acting as a bodyguard of sorts. Despite his sharp tongue, he is actually a man who feels compelled to help those in need, a fact that has put him in the high esteem of his peers. So cool. Okay, so next card. Ooh, we have Estelle. Very lovely. Let's see. Hers says, uh, <clears throat> her, uh, like, one of her quote things. No, that can't be. I'm the one who will decide my destiny. So she's 18. She's 165. Oh, I'm still taller than me. Anyway. Uh, female class lady. Voice actor. My Nakahara. And uh, her thing says <clears throat> Estelle meets Yuri in a rather curious manner at her castle. Her dreamy, detached demeanor often causes confusion amongst those around her. At heart, she is incredibly earnest and won't hesitate to use her healing arts on a fallen ally, even if it puts her own life in danger. Estelle is actually her nickname. Her full name is Estelise. So yes, that's lovely. Oh, here's his last name. Here we go. This is Flynn Sifo. Sifo? Oh, no, I can't pronounce it anyway. Okay, so his quote thing is, We're knights. With our swords, we protect the people. Okay, he is 21. He is 180 centimeters. That's the same as Yuri, isn't it? Yeah, same as Yuri. Uh, he's a male, obviously. His class is Imperial Knight. The voice actor, Mamoru Mia Miano, I think. Uh, Flynn grew up in the lower quarter of Yuri and now serves as a knight. He is determined to upend the current world order earning him accolades in the lower quarter and scorn from the aristocrats. Though he often comes across as overly serious and inflexible, he is constantly at war with himself, caught between his beliefs and the rule of the law. Flynn is preoccupied with Yuri's well-being, which unfortunately manifests itself in lectures and scolding. Yes. Okay, so, the next card is Patty Fleur. Her, uh, quote there. Tomorrow is another day. What will we be? What will be, will be. Yes, I can't read. Okay, she is 14. She is 132 centimeters, which is still taller than me. I think. Wait, no, no. Last I checked, was maybe 142. Uh, 43 centimeters? I'm not that tall, but at least I'm taller than this character. That's plus. <laughs> well, I'm 24 and she's 14. That's not saying that. Okay, so she's female, obviously. Her class is adventurer, and the voice actor is Chua Saito. Let's see. Patty Fleur is a self proclaimed adventurer traveling the world in search of the legendary treasure left behind by the Eifried pirates. She speaks in riddles that obscure her true intentions, and sounds like they've come from the mouth of a woman many times her age to boot. She's unpredictable in battle, thanks to the, unseem thanks to the seemingly endless array of items she can pull from her bag. She's equally handy with a blade or a pistol, but her true weakness is for the Japanese dish, Odin. Hmm. 
Okay, next is Rapide. And his quote is Bark. I mean, it's a dog, so yeah. <laughs> Age, fourteen and a half, four and a half. Uh, <laughs> height is one seventy centimeters, including the tail. The dog is taller than me. Right, uh, he's male. His class is a combat dog. The voice actor is Makoto Ishii. Repeat is Yuri's battle-tested companion, with the scar and lost eye to prove it. He holds his previous owner's pipe in his mouth at all times, but doesn't actually smoke. Repeat is generally aloof, but remains fiercely loyal to those he deems worthy. Given his imposing presence, it's probably safe to say he's the calmest, most disconcerting member of the group. In other words, it's a very, very cool dog. I mean, he does look cool too. I mean, he's got a sword too. Uh, okay, here we have is... Carol Cappell is a speech thingy. Okay, we got like four, four new people left, I think. Yeah. Okay, so his speech thingy. The star always performs the finishing blow. Everybody knows that. Well. Star is late to the show, then he won't finish anything. Anyway, um, he's 12. 155 centimeters, 135 centimeters, sorry, I can't even read. Yes, 35, I think. He's male, class is Young Warrior, voice actor, Kumiko Watanabe, I think. It's kind of hard to read on some of these fonts here, but anyway. <clears throat> I was gonna need water after this. Okay. The young firecracker has energy to spare, despite wielding a massive weapon for a guild committed to wiping out monsters. How does he end up with Yuri's crew? You'll have to play and find out. He works hard to show his worth whenever and however he can, but something else is eating him under the surface. Eating at him. At the, yes. <laughs> The next is Rita. Her uh, quote thing. You can't use a weird formula like this. Think of the poor Blastia. <clears throat> She's 15. High to 150 centimeters. Female. Class. Mage. Blastia Scholar. Voice actor. Mika Moinaga. Rita is a genius and Blastia researcher who will gladly tell you that yes, Blastia research is a profession. She is shunned by others in her hometown for being a sorcerer who doesn't mince words and does nothing but research. Sorry about that, the, the battery kind of died on me. Okay, so um, she doesn't mince words and does nothing but research, but that's just fine by her. Rita tends to adopt a frosty, cool disposition, but if you so much as mention research, you're in for an impassioned lecture. So, yeah. Let me just show you the uh, other one's close up too, because I think you didn't quite see it quite as uh, detailed, so Yuri, my favorite. Estelle. Flynn. Patty, repeat, coolest dog ever, and Carol, and this is what the back looks like, very cool. So the next we have, let's see, Rita is done, so the next is Raven, his uh, thing is Humans work a lot harder when they get rewarded, don't they? Which is technically true, I guess. Um, let's see. He's 35, 170 centimeters, male. He's a class is a uh, vagabond. Voice actor is Eiji Takemoto. 
you can tell like the font like isn't as very readable as much on that on the voice actor parts in a way like the M and the U and the I's kind of blend together. But anyway, Raven is an elusive, suspiciously dressed older man with a seemingly one-dimensional personality. Despite his dubious appearance, he has no ill will. In fact, his free spirit and easygoing ma uh, nature make him impossible to dislike. He wields both a bow and a short sword in battle, adding just one more layer to a man Yuri and crew may never fully understand. Okay, and the last card is Judith. Her, uh, what's it called, the uh, speech thingy? Is, if our paths are the same, I'll travel with you. If I didn't think they were, I wouldn't be here. Hmm. Age 19, height 175 centimeters, like she's super tall. So, so, only five centimeters shorter than Flynn and Yuri, though. Um, she's a female, obviously. Her class is a spear wielder and voice actor, Aya Hisakawa. Judith is a Cretian. Critian, a spear wielder who meets Yuri and his crew while wandering the world. She often acts impulsively and says exactly what's on her mind, which makes her difficult to get close to. Yuri simply calls her Judy. <laughs> okay, so that's great. Not sure where to put it though, but since it is nine, like, and most of my card things are nine page nine pocket pages, so that's cool. But if you want to be a closer, closer look at the pages for you. Pretty cool. I'm not sure what part of my pin board I'm going to stick it to, but they'll be stuck down. Sure of that. Okay, so that's so cool. I just didn't notice just now, but look, we've got Rapide's paw prints. That's a really cute little thing here. Yes, let me just put that down a second. I uh, took it off the tripod when I was changing the batteries, but I need to I wanted to give you a better close-up of the card, so I didn't put it back on the tripod yet. So I can't do this one. Okay. Right. Okay. They're back in. I'll have to sleep them up later. Okay. Okay, so let's just put the pee back in. So that is what that is. So I'm just put that little box thing down. And here are the stickers. Chibi stickers. Isn't Yuri look so cute? There you go. Better light there. It's Flynn, P, Patty, Still, Carol, Raven, Judas, Rita. So cute stickers. Like, at least we not want to use them because they're so cute with them. Yeah. Hmm. Fuck you. Okay, so next we have. Might as well show you this because it's only a metal case, technically. Here, repeat metal case. I think it's one of heavy. The proper metal case heavy, like. Open! Oh, okay. Hmm, and here we. No, it's heavy. It's also got the soundtrack inside. This one's heavy. Here we have 
star uh, constellation outline of Geary, Fistel, Flynn, and Patty. You'd think you'd put repeat on it, but it is a repeat case. So that's pretty cool. It's four disc soundtrack. Sweet. I mean, it's better than just having an empty metal case for the game, anyway. So that's pretty cool. So let me just put that back. So I don't lose it for some. And here we have Tales of Vesperia Memorial Art Book. I mean, that is so cool. This is where the story begins. 10th anniversary illustration. It's got stuff. You can read that if you want, that's like the introduction. My throat's getting dry, so I'm not gonna do it. <coughs> this is awesome. It's like a line art there. You got the characters in their little chibi form. So cute! So they're called the Brave the Spirit. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah, I said that right. Tori Yumi. I mean, I even got a pencil case, which is, you know, symbol. But that's her full name, which is pretty long. I don't know if I can see it. There it is. I don't know if you notice, know, Yuri gets the two page spread because he's the main character. Anyway, Flynn. We're being cold up. Carol. Rita. Raven. Judith. Patty. Every illustration tells a story. So the game pack artwork. This is like the original game pack artwork. And yeah, because this definitive edition is Yeah, they've got the, this one on this on this one. On this game cover. That's the full artwork of it. That's on the, uh, on like the Xbox version, there was this one as well. Pretty cool stuff. North American version was the package cover on that one. Huh. 
New Type 2008 Tales of Magazine Volume 12 That's the uh, First Strike poster artwork and the First Strike teaser artwork That is a very nice movie, by the way Pull Crew Image Board 01 huh. Pretty cool. And then, like some other image board things. Voice actors messages. Message from voice actors who brought them to life. Cool. You even have translation on the bottom. That is from the voice actor of Yuri. Sweet. Awesome. That's an interesting signature. Japanese always look so elegant, like. Do you buy a for repeat? Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Boy sign for Carol. For Rita. Raven. <laughs> Judith. Patty. We got a special comic thing in the back here. So, so we cut the page. But like, you know. And that's it. Quite a uh, Build a memory memorial art book. That awesome. Awesome art book. So pretty too I and mean, that'd be a good background. But anyway. That's everything. I can't wait to start playing it. It'd be so awesome. Little guidance recommended. <laughs> okay. Can't read that. Can't read that. Um, oh, by the way, these are the flags I was on about before. One to four players. Network features. 24.1 gig minimum. Dual shock, four vibration function, HD video output, 720p and 180, and remote play supported. So I can play it on my PS Vita too, I guess. Playing 12, violence, bad language, and gambling. Are those the, the, what the symbols mean? Kind of forgot. But yeah, that's awesome. I can't wait to start. Does that say does that mean it's region two? I think. It's a bit. I think so. That is so awesome. Awesome. Sweet. Mod violence and course language. Well. Yeah. No, that is just so awesome, and like the actual box art is epic as well. Oh, so good. Oh, cool. I can't wait. So, 
I am finishing off this video. Uh, yes. So I don't think there's anything else. There's nothing else, really. No, no, don't think so. Anyway, so that is it. Um, not that you really need to know, I guess, but uh, that's on the back. The fuzzy bits from this front, back, down the side, spot. I mean, but yes. Anyway, that uh, that's it. So thank you for watching. Like and subscribe for more. Ring the door for notifications. And I don't know if I'm going to do any gameplay of this, because I can't really, I haven't really figured it out how to record it on my PS4. I'm behind on the time, so I don't know if I will do gameplay or not, but it's awesome. I can't wait. So, over now.